another in a series of Microsoft Office training clips. How about a little discussion of using tabs in Microsoft Word? You know, this is one of the least understood principles in word processing that I've ever seen. I've come across some really experienced users that don't have a clue about setting tabs. Check it out. This document lists Dell Institute open enrollment courses. Nice layout, huh? Divided into three different columns. One, two, three. Everything lines up nice and neat. If you've ever done any word processing, I'll bet you nickel you've done something like this. And while editing or revising the document, you pulled your hair out. Watch what happens if I type the word introduction next to Windows 1. The last line of my column rolled down to the next line. Windows Advanced move all the way over to the side. I've got text jumping all over the place when I try to enter a simple word. What is up with that? What's up with that is the design of the table. This is called a tab delimited table. And the user originally set the table up by hitting the tab key several times between entries. I'll delete the word introduction. And to see what I'm talking about, I'm going to go to the Home tab in the Paragraph group of the Word 2007 ribbon, and I'm going to click the Show Hide button on the toolbar. This allows me to see arrows everywhere I hit the Tab key. These are formatted as non-printing symbols and will not print when I print the file. But notice, after Windows 1, I have one, two, three tabs. Now this allows the data to line up nice and neat. You know, you can't use a space bar. It's just not going to work, even if you count two, three, four, five. So what's the deal? The table should be set up with one tab between entries. Take a look at the second table. Here's a list of desktop applications using good tabs. Notice there's only one tab stop between each entry, indicated by the arrow, the non-printing symbol. If I want to set tabs in the document, the first step is to select the paragraphs to be formatted. I'm going to select the paragraphs from Windows 1 down to Visio Custom. The next step is to use the ruler. The ruler may or may not be displayed. If I go to the View ribbon and look at the Ruler option, it can be turned on and off with a check mark in the Show Hide section. This little guy right here, file indicator. The default is a left aligned tab, which means if I use it, text will be aligned up by its left edge. To set a tab in the selected text, I point to the ruler and click. Point, click. There's a left tab at the 2-inch mark on the ruler. Click. There's a left tab at the 4-inch mark on the ruler, lining the data up nice and neat. Tabs are easy to adjust. If I want to move this back just a little bit, I click and drag, making my adjustments. If I click the Home tab, Paragraph Group, Show Hide button, non-printing symbols disappear. It's a wonderful thing. Did you ever set up a phone list in Microsoft Word? Type the user's name. You want to see those leader dots between the name and the phone number? So you go to the period on the keyboard. And we have the name. The problem is when I try to line the data up, it doesn't work. We have an alternative, as luck would have it. I've typed three different phone numbers, Office Savant Classroom, Cell Phone, and Fax, along with the appropriate phone numbers. I'm sorry, I don't know you all well enough to give you my real phone number. And I have one tab stop between the name and the phone number. I can verify this by clicking on the Show Hide button on the toolbar, and notice I see one tab stop. Under the Home tab, if I go to the Paragraph group and click the icon in the lower right hand corner to open the Paragraph dialog box, I can click on the Tabs button. Here's a screenshot of the Tabs dialog box. This allows me to enter a tab stop position. 
unlike the previous technique, this effort is value driven versus visual. I want to set a tab stop at the 5 inch mark on the ruler. I want it to be a right tab, meaning the number will be aligned to the right. And I'm going to use leader dot style number 2. I'll click set, click OK, and there's my phone list. Name on the left, phone on the right, nice and straight, leader dot supply. What happens if I edit the list? Office Savant Classroom 1 Fax. Notice the text, the numbers on the right don't move. They hang out right where they are because I only have one tab stop between the data and the phone number. Rock and roll. So, to review. In setting up the document in Microsoft Word to align columns of data, use only one tab stop between the entries. Select the text to be formatted, view the ruler, and set the tabs at an appropriate location. To adjust the tab stops, drag the tab on the ruler. To set up tabs with leader dots, type the data, one tab stop between the name and the number, under the home tab, paragraph group, click the paragraph, tabs, type the value, determine the alignment, select the leader dot style, click set, and click OK. Another Microsoft Office training opportunity brought to you by the Office Savon, Dell Institute.com.